Greetings and welcome back to Reassembly, the second day of Reassembly to be exact. The winner has already been chosen, the comment has been placed in the uh, first day of Reassembly video, just letting everyone know that beyond that point, uh, submitting your name will not put you in with a chance of winning in the next day. That is this day of Reassembly. Now, this is the upgraded Flying Staplers. Flying Staplers is now capable of storing 3,706 resource points. That will give her the ability to spawn the Titan Bot. The Titan Bot has also been slightly adjusted. After field testing, I've moved the drones apart. Two drones on each side have been lost to facilitate the move, but it should give all of my drone ships just a little bit more maneuverability and uh, they should be uh, a little bit easier to get out of the drone launch bay. Now, for today's ship. Once again, I'm not going to spoil the surprise, so uh, we're going to find out just exactly which ship has won towards the end of the video. But first, we must build it. Now, the first clue as to who has won is uh, going to come for all of those who actually selected uh, what type of ship they wanted me to make for them. This one's going to be a missile boat. Now, I'm wondering how i should really go about building this one it's a bit of an odd one but i'm thinking we're going to have the cockpit fairly far back from the front this is going to be a very long vessel um once again though we're going to go with the uh, design of having plenty of thrust just along this inside here place that there we are also going to want uh you know what let's have both well we'll have two power cells but uh, we will also surround them. Oop, no, that's not what I wanted to do. We are going to want to surround these with shields. So we're going to rotate that around. Now I'm going to preempt this one by just selecting this box and copying that down. There we go. We are going to want a shield projector about there, I think. Yes, that'll do. We will want two power generators as well. One there, one there. Now we're going to have shields down the rest of the ship as well. <clears throat> so we don't want to get too crazy with uh, just placing the shields without placing plenty of power. I mean, I don't think missiles use a whole lot of power. Could easily be mistaken there, though. Now let's uh, pad that out. We're going to copy this. We're going to have the uh, engine room about here. So we'll have the ability to reverse much as we do with the titan bot and we will rotate this one around and affix it right there now how are we going to do everything else because although this is, is certainly the type of shape that i want i don't want it only to be this big so let's start out by padding out the sides because we are definitely going to want these padded out at the very least let's grab one down there grab all of you move them down there we go. Now, hmm, I could allow this to be for gathering um, resources, perhaps. I could put a bit. I mean, this is basically going to be a missile cruiser. It's going to be a long range attacker. I could give it the ability to store a reasonable amount of uh, items. You know what? I like that idea. Let's go with that. This is free after all. There we go. Now, as for you, hmm, I mean, that doesn't really connect perfectly well. That does, I'm not entirely happy with that, but maybe I'm just going to have to live with that one. Now, the next thing I want is definitely more shields on the outside. This is, this is the rear section of the ship. So we're going to have a shield there, a shield down here as well. But then, other than that, we just want a lot of shielding in the form of hull. Let's uh, place plenty of this around here. Um, we're going to extend this out as well. We could have some more, and I'm kind of tempted to, some more thrusters right at the back there. And, yeah, like I said, I am kind of tempted to, to go with that. Um, kind of like the idea there as well of having this uh, kind of building off, because it's going to be attached only on this side. Uh, we could get away with adding some cannons. Now, I was given some advice to help with the drone boats, and it's <laughs> kind of foolish desire to always be in the fight. 
I could just give it a couple of missiles so that the uh, ship considers itself a long-range attack. It should, at that point, stop trying to get involved in the fights directly. Um, and that does make an awful lot of sense. Uh, let's go ahead and add some shape to the rear of the vessel as well. There we go. We're only on 850 so far, but uh, this ship is already getting quite large. Let's uh, pad that out. Now, along the sides, we can probably afford to have a fair bit of armor. Let's uh, fill this out a little bit more. Possibly about there, maybe. Let's try and match that up. Yes, that would be where I would need it to uh, sit in order for it to be perfectly aligned with the other sides. There we go. And we all know how much I like to have everything perfectly aligned. Okay, I'm thinking that it would actually be better to have a little bit of extra power just down here. So we'll pad that in as well. There we go. And you know what? You can rotate around. I'll have all the power facing the cockpit. There we go. We can have a little bit of extra thrust at the back if we abs absolutely need to. Um, however, down here, I'm thinking we'll just pad this out with armor. This is going to be... A long-range vessel, we don't need to do anything uh, silly and have it joining the fight normally. No, no, no. We want this one. In fact, there's not really much that we can do to stop it. It's going to do what it wants to do in that regard. Um, as soon as you add missile launches, it tends to prioritize only engaging from extreme range, regardless what you want. But we're going to fill this out like so. There we go. That's actually what we want there. So we'll delete the, this side. I don't know why I placed that first. And pull this down. That gives us a, a decent amount of uh, anti-fighter capabilities as well. Um, you know, perhaps this would be better a little bit further back rather than having an actual functional component that far towards the outer part of the armor. Now, this setup of engines seems to work pretty well from what I've seen. I, I'm not particularly inclined to change that setup. Uh, I may add a little bit more point defense in the middle here, though. But we'll have a look at that in just a moment. Now comes the interesting part, and that is adding in our missile battery. So we're going to want a long spine of this ship, topped with a, uh, a bit of a, a head there. Not very much, just a couple of shields, probably. Um, talking about shields, perhaps I should make sure that I've got shields along the path. I think that's probably a wise idea. There we go. Let's just copy that around. And again, there as well. There we are. Perfect. Now, at the very end, in fact, you know what? I, I really do like the idea of having this even amounts between them. Yeah, I like that. There we go. Plenty of shielding for the missile bays. Now, this is where the missile bays are going to be going. And then we will have a uh, frontal area for the actual head of the ship. The, the, it's not really the cockpit. The cockpit's all the way back there. But uh, still, it's going to have that effect. So we'll build this out. Uh, something like that. Uh, no, no, that was in the right place. Then we want to copy that and start... Now, we want to mirror this so that we've got a very clean edge something like that will do i think and then we can have this grow out like that oh, i'm liking this i really really am and we can have a little bit of extra shielding right at the front there there we go that should prevent anything from really being able to hit the front of the ship too hard there we are and just in case it does let's uh, add a bit of uh Flack at the front as well. Uh, no, we don't want that. We want to move this forward by about two. We'll have just a proper little uh, nose, I guess. If I could put glass blocks on this, you know I would. I would absolutely be putting glass or some sort of funky little uh, cosmetic component there right now. It would be happening. You know it's true. And we'll pad this out then with point defense and since I can't easily set that up I'll just put something else there we'll put a plasma just for the sake of it and 
add something in there as well. Okay, that, that's the front of this ship. Now, thing is, I want this vessel to be able to turn and more to the point to be able to reverse easily. So, with that in mind, we're going to cover the front with reverse thrusters. I think it's pretty important. In fact, that's not going to work perfectly, so we'll do this. There we go. It's a bit better. That is much better. I want this to be able to pull back if it has a need to. Ideally, I would like those a little bit better protected, but uh, I'll live with it because it does have plenty of reverse thrust further back after all. There we go. So that's just uh, the front of the ship. They were already up to 1,840. This is going to be an expensive vessel. I can see it now. We're going to have to increase the uh, flying staplers' uh, resource capacity again just to be able to fit this ship. Um, you know what, though? I think it would be wise for me to add just one extra layer of defenses before the main part of... The, before the actual central part of the spine. I don't want this to be easily broken down. Let's do something like this. There we go. And just a basic little uh, curve there. Oops. There we go. That looks beautiful. And same over here. There we are. Now these can fit in place. Question is, do I want the missiles? Hmm. Let me see. How many of these could I fit? in an array if i have them three by three that leaves room there hmm. not as keen on that for obvious reasons it's a waste of space maybe like that and what i'm thinking of doing is we'll have the missiles set up like this but in banks now in my mind these missiles are going to be firing over each other so we have something like this Still kind of an underwhelming amount of missiles, though, I've got to be honest. Um, only if there were an easier way to pad that out. Don't think there is, though. Unless I do... No, that wouldn't work. I was going to have that placed here and then the missiles on top, but uh, that would just push this further back and further back. Hmm, that isn't working the way I was hoping it would. Have I got a better component for this, perhaps? Not you. How about you? Oh, will you work? Can you connect? Ah! Ha 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 ha! I found a use for you at last! It has been so long that I have been looking for a use for you. Well played. Well played indeed. Let's get all of these to connect right by there. And then we can have missile racks. Okay. 12 per is much better. So we're going to get rid of you. Now that I've got my design... And over you come. There we are. And down here, let's mirror it. Connect. Oh dear, we've lost a bunch. Uh, how did this happen? How, what? Shenanigans, I call. The worst sort of shenanigans, too. Are you all connected? Yes, you are. Perhaps it would have been... Oh, really? Ah. <sighs> Because they weren't connected to anything when I rotated it. What I'm going to have to do instead is delete these blocks and then grab everything here as a single entity. That way the missiles are still attached on the bottom there. There we go. Right, so this is our missile cruiser. Let's see how it does in a quick test, shall we? I mean, we could add some... Uh, I'm kind of tempted. No. Let's, let's just see how this does in a test. So we've got Cruiser M. It's a lot of missiles, proton beams, and other sorts of nastiness. Launch all of the missiles. Every single one needs to be fired. All of them. Launch them all. You are taking a lot of damage needlessly. But why are all of your missiles not hitting parts of the ship that I want them to hit? Though you are overwhelming it. Look at the amount of missiles you're launching. It's glorious. Keep firing. All of them. We must destroy him utterly. You're not extremely accurate, but he's laying mines and the missiles are hitting the mines. That's, that's actually pretty awesome, in a way. And you are probably going to quickly overwhelm his ship as long as you can start 
cleaving part off his thrusters. He won't be able to get away. Yeah, it's game over. Our win, I think. Well done, Missile Cruiser, though now he's just spinning everywhere. And that's it for you. Well done. Null wins round. Look at those beautiful missile racks. This is perfect. Now, was that just a lucky win? Because you are drifting close to those uh, mines. Let's hope that they don't hit you. The lovely thing about the missiles, they're going through the shields. So although he's got shields, they're gradually doing damage to the uh, thrusters, regardless of the shields. Like that hit there. Maybe we could uh, put some heavier missiles on it here and there. That was a good strike. That was a very good strike there. And it looks like you're going to get another one. The shields are down. And it's all going to be damage applied to his thrusters at this point. Though with those laser beams so close, he's just keeping them on. And my missiles are flying straight into them, which is a bit annoying. There we go. That should be the end of him. Yes, direct hit there with the next volley. And perfect. It's all over for you. Oh, you are spinning around. That's getting a little bit close. That is a beautiful attack. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, uh, no. I'm very proud of you. Now we're up against the Flak Angle. Flak Angel, maybe. <laughs> Flak Angle. Uh, launch all of the missiles. Wow. You are obliterating the shields, but he's going through the front of the armor pretty quickly. That's okay. It is purely armor. It doesn't matter. Though the Flak is pretty much your natural enemy. But the amount of ordnance that you're releasing is absolutely fantastic. He's got more points than you right so far, though, which is interesting. You need to get down there, and you need to attack. Come on. You've got plenty of thrusters. You know you can do this. Let's get that shield at the front back online before you get too close, though, because his shields are almost back. Never mind. Launching. No, he's dodging. Damn you and your cleverness. All of the missiles overwhelm his power supply. You might not be able to. I'm not sure how much power he has, but uh, you only need a couple of good hits to be able to start knocking things out that are important. You, you are making connections. It's just uh, whether you're making enough is the problem. I don't think you are. There we go. Lots of damage. We, I think he's lost some of his maneuverability there. You might be able to move in. No. No, he's, he's on the move. He's a clever little one, him. But you have taken a good chunk out of the front of his ship, and we're now the point leader. Looks like we've damaged a lot of the flak at the front. If you look at the top right, you can see what's being repaired, and it looks like a lot of flak guns at the front got taken out. But you still lack the penetration. This is a pretty good um, bot for you to fight, honestly. It is pretty much designed to stop you, but you won on points at the very least, and that's always very nice to see. Okay, let's see if that happens again. And straight in this time, come on. One of you will come out the better from that engagement. He did more structural damage, but it was purely armor. And you've already taken out a huge chunk of his ability to fly. He's now going to be spinning a little bit because you've, uh, I don't know, you've, you've balanced his thrusters out again. Damn it! You almost had a good uh, attack there. Unfortunately, I don't think you're going to overwhelm him. It comes down to when you're getting close... The missile, his flag doesn't know whether to aim for you or aim for the missiles, but all of your point defense only has one target, and that's him. So it's when you get in close, your point defense is winning the fight for you, I fancy. But uh, we'll continue to apply damage. You've got, again, point leader, and I don't think, oh no, he's coming in for a, a broadside, maybe? I don't know. Never mind, you're the only one that's actually engaging properly. You are significantly point leader. Only 30 seconds left in this battle, I think it's fair to say you will win. You've already brought one shield back online at the front of the ship. The second one probably isn't very far away either. It looks... Uh, no, there we are. You can see the... It's part partially filled in right now. It's about to finish regrowing and come back online. You have convincingly won this battle, but on points. It's a shame you weren't able to completely overwhelm him, but then again, you're not going to be fighting alone when you fight. You'll be fighting as part of a fairly large group, I imagine. Now, I haven't checked exactly how much this beautiful vessel costs. It's probably going to be stupid. No, actually, not that much. 3328. I'm not sure if the Flying Staplers has enough to be able to uh, build this right now. But it's probably not that far off. But it is time. I have delayed long enough. The suspense can finally end. Let me uh, delete this name. 
This is the HMSS. Now, the request was for two words, but the, the second word is already quite a long one, so I'm just going to be going with the second word. I hope you can forgive me. The Nebuchadnezzar. There we are. The HMSS Nebuchadnezzar, named by Zex Morshaw. You are the winner, Zex. The YouTube private message will be on its way to you as soon as this video goes live. Very well done indeed. 3328. How much can Flying Staplers store? 37. That is absolutely fantastic. Flying sta Staplers can, in fact, add that up here. So we've got the blank door, we've got the Nebuchadnezzar, and the Titan Bot. Flying Staplers is going to be making an extremely powerful fleet. I am very happy with this indeed. Very, very happy. But that is the end of this episode. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're looking forward to the next. Now, as with the last one, any comments made on this episode will be automatically put into the running for the third day of reassembly giveaway. Ah, it's going past so fast, but I hope that it will bring everyone a great deal of joy. Even if you don't win, you'll enjoy all of the extra reassembly uploads. But that is it from me. So until next we meet, do take care.